two individuals tonight? Um, it was pretty tough, but I had been training the whole season. I knew I was going to swim these two events, and um, I knew it was going to be hard, and it was still really hard, but I think I did okay, and I'm really happy with how I did. Getting touched out in the fly, did that motivate you a little more? Um, I don't... I. I don't really get motivated by that, I guess. Um, I was seated eighth coming into the meet in the 100 fly and getting second, I was just happy to be in the top eight, honestly, and I spent my best time and I, I was happy with second, I don't know. <laughs> Rachel, you started off the night with a phenomenal relay leg, doing backstroke, 23-4. Given that 50 split, were you where you wanted to be in your individual hundreds? Yeah, definitely. It definitely gave me a lot of confidence going into my hundreds, and uh, I felt a lot better than I did this morning. And I just, I thought I could get my best times, and that's all I really wanted to do. You got such great speed, obviously, on display in that relay, but you were pretty close in both, obviously, the 100 fly and the 100 backstroke at the 50 and then again at the 75. How tough is it to stay patient with your underwaters coming off that last wall and let those kind of do the trick for you? Um, I kind of always, I know that the last underwater is going to hurt a lot, and I try to just tell myself just two more kicks, two more than I want to do, and um, that typically helps me get to the wall faster, and I just... I kind of just block out everything else that's kind of going on around me. Rachel, we've been following your backstroke for so long, and it's great to see you swimming so much butterfly mm -hmm. on the relays and the 100 fly tonight, the 200 fly tomorrow. Are you becoming more of a butterflyer than a backstroker? Um, I hope not. I, I love them both, so I want to I wanna continue to become better in backstroke and to continue to become a better flyer. I still have a long way to go in butterfly, but I have been training a lot of fly this season along with backstroke, and it's starting to pay off. What is it about the backstroke this, this year? There's 30 people get 52s. It was 10 people maybe a couple years ago, two, three years ago. What is it about that stroke right now? Um, I think it's people are just learning that that you don't have to be scared to use your underwaters, and a lot of people are starting to use them, and uh, people are just going out there and attacking it because they, they know that's what they have to do in 100, and I'm surprised how fast it is, but it it's going to get, keep getting faster every year, and it's exciting to see because I love competing at that level. Rachel, you were less than two tenths off Natalie Coughlin's American record in the Hunter backstroke. Was that on your radar? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I would love to break an American record, but um, I did some things wrong in my race, and I'm hoping next year I can change that. And. Uh, I'm only a freshman. So. What did you do wrong? Um, just my turns and a couple things here and there. Just I was not particularly happy with, but I am happy with the best time. So. In a meet when so many people seem to be struggling, especially in prelims, what do you think you're doing so right this year um, in your first NC2A ever to have this kind of success? Um, I we this whole season we've been training that you have to get up and race. Prelims are finals and. Um, I am going to go all out in prelims and hope for the best and then in finals I'm just going to go all out and not hold anything back and I would go to the NCSA junior meet and swim 24 races over five days and uh, it seems weird, it's almost weird to me that this day, this meet's only three days and um, swimming hopefully 13 events here and it's just, it's just a different kind of set up for the meet and I I love to race, that's all I really can say. Your underwater is so dominant in the field. What types of things or what sets do you guys work on at Cal for that underwater? We hold our breath a lot, a lot, a lot of underwater work. Just um, sets that are specific for backstroke that only the backstrokers will do. And it's just a lot of holding your breath. <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't say I enjoy it all, but it definitely pays off. What's it like seeing swimmers that you've competed against since juniors, somebody like Courtney Bartholomew, you guys have competed against each other a ton. What's it like now seeing them collegiately? It's it's really fun. I I remember I met Courtney, I think, when I was 12 or 13 years old, and um, it's just weird to see how everyone's journeys kind of start out to, kind of together, and then they just go separate ways, and then they merge back. And it's always fun to see familiar faces and say hi and just catch up on stuff that's been going on, I guess. Three of the top five times in the 100 backstroke were by freshmen. How do you feel about that moving forward the it's next gonna, four years? It's going to be fun. I said to them on the podium, I was like, it's going to be a fun for four years. And um, I'm looking forward to it. And they're great, great, great competitors. So it, it'll be fun.
Thanks, Rachel. Good job. Thank you.